What's going on, Sneaker Talk TCG family? Welcome to, I think, the first vlog on the channel if you're excluding the Japan vlog compilation. So today, we have Shining Fates. This right here. Easily one of the most hyped up sets in a minute, and I actually unboxed three of these earlier in a video I uploaded today, hopefully if it went up today. Uh, so if you guys wanna check it out, check out the pulls. The problem with this set, there's, there's a problem with Shining Fates right now. The cards, the quality control, ain't the greatest for the hollow cards. So if you guys wanna see what I mean, check out the other video. I'll leave it linked down below. And we're also giving away this box right here. The prices for Shining Fates are getting just insane. Avoid paying resale if you can. I would probably not even buy as much as I did if I never had this Pokemon channel I'm filming for right now. These are $25 at retail, right? I bought four of these for retail from Pokemon's website and now these are going for like $70 each. That's crazy. Currently we're at my parents' house because my parents live closer to the card store than I do and I figure it would make the, you know, the trip easier to the store because it's really cold out here in Canada. Probably not as rough as it is in Texas right now now and I figure I could get the product quicker and then make the videos faster for you guys on the release day that Shining Fates comes out. I also low-key missed my mom's breakfast and I miss my dog a lot too so shout out to both of them being here. <laughs> well, ever since I moved out of my parents house last year my sister's taken over my old bedroom so I'm not getting that back that's for sure however we do have a guest room in my parents house and that's where I've been staying and that's where I've been making it a complete mess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a stacks and stacks of Pokemon cards right here. Basically my Pokemon stonks. Um, this is a rack that my mom uses for all of her plants and her succulents. I'm probably gonna fill this up with sneakers once again. And I'm gonna have to completely like change up the layout and try and fit in more furniture into this very, I'm not gonna say it's a small room cause it is a nicely sized room. It's just, there's a lot of stuff. Like the suitcase is gonna go, this box is gonna go to the Philippines, I believe. We have dressers and random stuff there. Oh, and this is the stuff that Adidas actually sent over the other day. Day. So we'll show you guys this and the sneakers and some more sneakers uh, when we get back to my crib. This is the current setup right now for work. We have the light right here, laptop from college and university that's sticker bombed and it only works for like 20 minutes unless you have the AC adapter plugged in. We also got my Marnie mouse pad. Uh, this is my second one. And then we have a mouse as well, my gaming mouse. So it's 3.13 p.m. right now, and we're gonna see how long it takes for me to get to Dolly's and back. And I just got confirmation from uh, 401 Games downtown where I currently live that they have their uh, their shipment in for Shining Fates as well. So I pre-ordered on the second wave. So we'll be able to get those Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes later tonight when I go back home, which I'm very, very excited about. But uh, yeah, we have a small little bus ride, little 10 minute walk or so in the snow. I'll tell you guys about the Shining Fates pull rates uh, when I'm walking towards the store, which is like a 10 minute walk. Man, I've, 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 <laughs> it's been a while since I've taken the bus. I completely forgot how crappy it is during the winter season when the bus is delayed. So on my app, it told me the bus was gonna be there in two minutes. So I waited four minutes and then said the next bus was gonna take 10 minutes to get there. So it gets to that point where you just walk to the next bus stop for a transfer <laughs> instead of just waiting at the bus stop. I enjoy living downtown because you really don't have to take the bus ever. The subway is not gonna be really affected by weather conditions necessarily. So <sighs> it feels good to be vlogging again. I miss walking around holding my camera out like this like a complete maniac. And uh, I'm really looking forward to vlogging again more and more once we get into that rhythm, you feel me? Woo. Woo. There's a hound doom beside me, barking at me. Man, oh man, it feels so crazy right now to be walking down this street. Like the last times I walked down this street were like six, 
years ago, six, five, seven years ago. It's 2021 right now. I used to play a game called Card Fight Vanguard, another trading card game. And I even had a YouTube channel around that card game at one point. I used to go to these weekly Vanguard tournaments at this store with some homies, some friends I made at school. I would come to this store for the weekly tournaments. I would even sometimes skip work. I would I would ask someone else to take my shift at work at Aero Pastel so I, could, so I could play the card game. Probably bad decision back then, but honestly, I made a lot of great memories playing Card Fight Vanguard and playing with friends at the weekly tournaments. I'm really excited for when local Pokemon events can start happening again too because I, I went to one local Pokemon tournament, Pokemon League Night F4-1 games a long time ago around the Plasma Storm, Plasma Blast era and uh, it had a lot of fun there too. Even though I was new, the community was so welcoming and a lot of fun to play with. So let's talk about the Shining Fates pull rates. So as you guys know, I've only opened up 12 packs so far. However, I did open those 12 packs online too, and the pull rates were really good. So if the online pull rates are like any indication of how good potentially the actual pull rates are for the pack, it looks really good. I think I pulled like a shiny Pokemon or an ultra rare out of uh, eight out of the 12 packs. So that's some really good, uh, really good pull rates, I gotta say. Let's get going. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited right now, I just can't contain it. All right, so we made it to the store. They're getting my order right now. And uh, it's just so cool to be here again and see all like the posters on the wall. Like you can see the aging on some of the posters, like this Cosmic Eclipse poster. The poster's like all bluish now from all the sun rays hitting them for over, over the years. <laughs> All right, card secure. They're in my backpack and all of it, all of it managed to fit inside of my backpack. I got two Elite Trainer boxes. I got a bunch of stuff. I also got some singles as well. Free deck box too, I think. So yeah, we'll show you guys all the pickups for today's Shining Fates trip right when we get back to somewhere warmer. All right, we're back at the condo that we're gonna call my home for the next three days before I move out on Tuesday. And uh, this right here are the, or these right here are all the pickups for today. So, Shining Fate, we got two elite trainer boxes. As you can see, we're gonna open up one of these in this video. We got one of the Cramorant tin. I basically bought like a three pack of one of each tin. So here's the Bolton tin right here, Bolt Hound. And then we also have the Eldegross and these are all shiny V versions of the Pokemon. We also got a second Bolton tin. So we'll be opening up one of each of the tins in an upcoming video to see which pulls are in, like which, which tin has the best pulls essentially. So we're gonna do like a, a pack battle with myself. And then right now we have, oh, I also have some other things that I got. This is a pickup or not a pickup, a pull I got the other day. We have an Espeon EX. This was a uh, card I pulled off camera with my girlfriend when we were just chilling. Got a Latios Prism Star right here. I'm trying to collect pretty much most or all of the Prism Stars that I really like. So we have a, sorry, not Latios, Latias. We have a Latias here. We also have a Latios as well. And then we also picked up a uh, Greninja and Zorark G or Zorark GX full art as well. This card is so sick. They also gave me this too, a free card as well, a Hydra, Hydra, Hydrogeon, <laughs> I, I can't pronounce it properly, Hydrogeon. And the really cool thing about this is that it is a thank you promo. I've never seen this kind of thing before in my life. It actually says thank you right there. Here's what it says on the back. I've never seen this before in my life. I knew about staff cards, but yeah, when I picked up my order, because there was a small mix up with my previous order where they forgot to ship or they just missed shipping these in a big order I placed. So I picked those up today and they kind of gave me this as like maybe an apology or just like a little thank you. Uh, well, it says thank you right here. And then we also got, uh, this was also gifted to us as well. We have a sword and shield deck box, which also came with some dividers. So shout out to Dollies for hooking it up. Let's get to this Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. I, I've seen a couple of the unboxings for this product and uh, from what I've seen, the pull rates are really, really good. Like they're really, really something to be excited about. My very first Elite Trainer Box Shining Fates Edition. So this thing looks sick, man. Let's just get some zoom out action. This thing looks awesome. Really premium looking. Let's slide it out and there we go shining fates book right here the player's guide so let's take a quick little look show you guys what you can see inside it has the table of contents if you guys want to read anything feel free to freeze 
or uh, I don't know. Uh, you've probably seen this a few times already um, because this is going to be uploaded the day after Shining Fates comes out. So it's going to show you guys all the cool V and V Max cards, what you can expect in the set, giving you guys a little preview, teaching you guys also about the attacks. We've also got amazing Pokemon right here. We got the Reshiram, Kyogre, and Yvital. I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't include Suicune. I don't think there's baby Suicune in this set like there was in St Shiny Star V. And here's the Shiny Vault. Check it out. Showcasing the VMAX Shiny Pokemon like Charizard, Toxtricity, and Lapras. I think we uh, I think we got a Shiny Lapras VMAX. Well, if you guys want to see the Japanese Shining Fates video for Shiny Star V, I'll leave them linked down below. Um, here's another look at the different shinies of the starters at their highest evolved form. A little checklist action, so we'll get some zoom in action right here. A little checklist action. You guys can see the shinies, the base set, the, like the regular core set of it. We got the full art trainers. Unfortunately, no Marnie. No Marnie. Why did they take Marnie out? It makes no sense. With that said, uh, if you guys want to enter for the giveaway, where is it? Where did it go? This right here a Pikachu V box collection for Shining Fates. If you guys wanna enter this giveaway, we're gonna get four chances to enter the giveaway. The first one was in my first Shining Fates video. The second one is now. The third one will be in the Elite Trainer box with this box. And then the fourth will be with the tins. And there might be more ways to enter, uh, but we're gonna give away one pack of one pack each. So each person will get one free pack. And to enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Hit that red button down below. Turn on notifications if you wish to. Also hit that like button and comment down below your best pull in Shining Fates. And if you haven't opened up any packs yet, comment down below what products you want to buy or intend to buy. Good luck to everybody. We're also running a Champions Path giveaway that's gonna end later next week. So if you guys wanna enter that, the videos are linked down below. So let's see what we have inside of this box. Slide open the lid. And I'm really hoping, like last time we had some really bad silvering on the cards. So I'm hoping our cards are a bit better this time. Uh, we got the acrylic little burn and poison uh, little counters there. We got some dice as well. It has a black and brown theme along with the, uh, the larger uh, like regular kind of dice right there on the side. Here are the sleeves included as well. We got a massive uh, Gigantamax VMAX, VMAX EV right here sleeves. And we also have the code, which I'm not gonna tease you guys with. I'm gonna use this online. The EV, ooh, look at this EV guys. Bruh. Take a look at EV VMAX. His attack is GMAX Cuddle. What a name for an attack. Cute and scary at the same time. We also have a pack of energies that we're never going to open up. We also got the dividers, one for commons, uncommons, rares, and ultra rares, so you can divide them in your elite trainer box. And then we have the Pokemon trainer guide, which if you don't know how to play right now, honestly, play the online trading card game, best way you can learn. 10 packs included. Let's count it up, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Upside down, nine, 10. Let's get started. With that said, if you guys did enjoy the kind of like vlog portion we did to the start of today's video. I would love to get some feedback. If you guys want to see more vlogs, I actually travel to Japan a lot. I've gone to Japan eight times. I've done a lot of Japan vlogs on the main channel, Sneaker Talk, so feel free to check out my Japan vlog playlist. I'll leave it linked down below. If you miss travel, if you miss outdoorsiness, if you miss cool vlogging content, you'll enjoy those vlogs. And we also have a Japan vlog compilation as well on this channel, featuring mainly the Pokemon and video game aspects of my most recent trip. So check it out. You guys will see the Pokemon Center and more. With that said, let's stop blabbing and get to the cards. We got a Metal Energy, Floatzel, Tropius, Ball Guy. Let's get some first pack magic, guys. Let's get it. More Peko, Spinarak, Buizel, a Rowlet, Galarian Weezing for the first reverse hollow slot and a wow okay bird keeper full art there we go we got some first pack magic you'll love to see it i love the card bird keeper very useful in the actual card game it switches your pokemon and you draw three and this art looks fantastic i forget the name of the pokemon that's right here uh but i don't think this is a card that's going to be affected necessarily by that full art waifu boom this isn't necessarily a cute girl uh those are the cards that really went up but first pack magic guys we got a Bird Keeper and Galarian Weezing Reverse Hollow. I'm really excited to unlock these cards online too uh, because I really need more Crobat Bs in my dark deck and Crobat B is a reprint in this set. This set actually has a bunch of reprints 
from other sets like Darkness Ablaze and Rebel Clash. So it's kind of interesting that they do that. So I no longer have to keep buying Darkness Ablaze packs. I can just open up these Shining Fates to get more Crobat V, Floatzel, and a Cramorant V for our first V card. Okay. Okay, I want to test out the Cramorant VMAX decks, but that's dope. We got two hits in a row. That's some really good luck so far. And if you guys ever want to hang out, uh, I'll be moving to my parents' house soon, so I don't know if I'll be able to stream uh, one more time before I head back to there. Uh, but we do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sneakertalkca, and we'll be, we'll be playing some Pokemon trading card game online, maybe some pack openings, maybe some online pack openings, and definitely some Apex Legends, and just talking about shoes and Pokemon. Fun place to vibe, sneakertalkca on Twitch. With that said, maybe I should do a giveaway on Twitch too. Maybe, follow me so you guys can stay up to date. Horsey, we got a reverse hollow boss's orders, and our rare slot is a Volcanion. Boss's Orders is a solid pull, but unfortunately, it eats up the spot, the spot, the spot that could have been a shiny Pokemon. From what I've seen, you get the shiny Pokemon in that reverse hollow spot. So if you get something that's not a, not a shiny, you're like, dang. Because the cards that are in the, the rare slot are typically not the, really the chase cards in this set. A lot of the chase cards are in that reverse hollow spot. All right, here we go. Next pack, Energy. Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Kufant, Egruki, Buizel, Yanma, Trapinch, Gossifleur, and a Indeedee V. Cool. So this is actually a reprinted card, but this time they changed the art around, and I think this is the male version of Indeedee V, and the, the version before this they had was the girl version of it. So exact same attack, same movesets, uh, same HP. Everything about the card is the same as the previous one except for the artwork. So in DDV for our third ultra rare pull. So right now I think we're pretty good. I think we're, uh, we have five, six more packs left. So we got three really great pulls out of the uh, four we've opened so far. And all the code cards are white in this set, if you didn't know, but you don't get a guaranteed hollow, which is very strange. Um, yeah, I think they just do that because maybe just because the the reverse hollow slot can also be heavy So they just do that But most of the people who are opening these packs aren't really going to be buying in these packs individually People buying these are buying them in the special tins So they're usually going to open all of them not just leave one uh, unopened. All right, and a Resha Ram Let's go and a professor's research with professor Jupiter for that card Resha Ram Wow, all right, it looks like we're getting better luck in terms of silvering and that hollow bleed that we saw issues with in the previous uh, video. It doesn't really look like there's many issues with this card. It looks great. It looks really good. The centering looks perfect, honestly. Uh, this is potentially worth sending in. Um, wow, yeah. From what I've seen, the amazing rares aren't as rare as the Vivid Voltage amazing rares. I've seen a lot of people uh, pull the amazing rares from this set. So, I mean, maybe, it, so that would potentially make the value of these amazing rares go down. But we'll see eventually when, you know, when the cards are graded, what the populations are like, because as you guys saw, or as you guys know, there is issues with quality control in this set. Um, you can even see right there, like there's some obvious whitening, like and this is just out of the pack, man. Um, so we'll see what the pop reports are in P from PSA and stuff. Did I just do the thing wrong? I think I did the pack trick wrong. All right, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna roll with it. We got a Celebi Rare, a Fighting Energy. Okay, I think I messed it up, whatever. So Celebi Rare, but we, haven't, we don't know what the Reverse Hollow or Shiny card is. So we're gonna find out in a second. I think it's gonna be the last card. Yanma, Snom, a Team Yell Towel. So that's probably one of the weakest packs we got. No really dope Reverse Hollow. The Rare is okay, but it wasn't Hollow. And I haven't seen that Celebi as a hollow yet. It's uh, one of the rares that might just be only available as a rare, uh, or you get a reverse hollow rare, similar to how Charizard was in Vivid Voltage. Next pack, Fire Energy, Cramorant, Rusted Sword, Gem Trainer, we got an Eevee, Horsey, Cacnea, Shinx, Nickit, a Appleton Shiny. Shao, what we got behind him? Oh, we got a Cinderace V. This is a reprint from Rebel Clash, I believe. And I think this might have actually been the art for the promo Cinderace V from the tin. So, uh, so yeah, I'll have that. 
on screen if that is a promo, but cool. We got an Appleton, reminds me of some apple pie. Oh, I want some apple pie right now. What time is it? Nine? Does McDonald's close at nine right now here? It used to be 24 hours, but Corona made it <laughs> close earlier. First double hitter of the day for this box right here. The Hidden Fates, uh, the Hidden Fates, Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. I still freaking find it so funny. Why did I say, why did I say freaking there? I find it so funny that they went with the name Shining Fates. Like they could have gone with almost anything, but the fact that they went with that name is just comedic in itself. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. It's just kind of annoying when you mix up the name Shining Legends and Hidden Fates uh, and you don't call Hidden Shining Fates by its actual name because you get it mixed up with its step bro and its stepsis. You feel me? Shinx, we got a Nicket, Rowlet, Reverse Hollow, more Peko, and a Cinderace VMAX. Yo, that is actually dope. We pulled Cinderace, a uh, Cinderace, Cinderace, and Cinderace VMAX back to back. Look at that. Look at Cinderace VMAX. He looks sick. That looks really, really cool. And uh, yeah, it's gonna go in my fire deck for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. I think it's awesome that they kind of, I think it's kind of dope, honestly, that they reprinted the VMAX versions of these Galarian starters in this set because the those decks and those cards were not getting any love in Rebel Clash. Like, so they needed they needed a way to give these cards some love because I mean face it they're the starters they're in their top their top evolution you know so no one's really playing those Rebel Clash decks no one's really buying Rebel Clash so people are now able to kind of collect these stage two versions of the uh, the starters in this this set so I don't mind it I really don't mind it especially because it doesn't take up like a reverse hollow slot so more Peko Cacnea. Horsey, Kufant, I think this is the next card will be a shiny. And a Luxio. Luxio reverse hollow. Cool, cool, cool. And we have a Dreadnought. Regular rare, but he looks really cool. I like it. He's dope. I mean, Dreadnought does not get a lot of love. They call him Great Value Blastoise. They don't, you know, I think Dreadnought is awesome. I really think Dreadnought is cool. His, his basic form though, uh, what's his name? I forget, maybe I have a copy of it here. Uh, here it is. Choodle. This guy looks a little dorky. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Why does Dreadnought look so cool? It's like puberty, you know? Puberty hit Choodle hard because he looks like a badass here. And then he was like the ugly duckling here. Yeah, so he's an ugly turtle and then he becomes uh, the star after puberty hit him. Anyways, last pack magic. Let's get to it, guys. If you guys are enjoying the video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button down below subscribe and enter the giveaway for a Shining Fates booster pack. Comment down below your best pull from your uh, opening so far. And if you have, if you haven't opened any, what you wanna buy uh, if you do get the opportunity to buy some Shining Fates. With that said, last pack, let's go. Eldegoss, Tropius, a ball guy, Spinarak, Rowlet, more Pekka with Snubble, and uh, Rookie D, is the name Rookie D in the background? We got a Nicket. I think this next card is gonna be the shiny spots. Eevee, no, almost there. One more. Ah, oh, horsey. A horsey reverse hollow and our rare slot is a Yan Mega. Quick little recap for you guys. We got Cinderace VMAX, Cinderace V, Appleton Shiny, Reshiram and DDV, Cramorant V, and a full art bird keeper. So those are our pulls. Really solid pulls. I wanna say the pull rates are pretty solid for this uh, box that we got. We'll see what it's like in the upcoming box I do open. And uh, yeah, with that said, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you, catch you, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.